Hey everyone, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and today I want to show you how to use our brand new duo dies. Our October release contains three different duo dies. The Scallop Duo Die, which has three different dies. Our Holiday Tag Duo Die, which has eight different dies that you can use to decorate cards or tags or just about anything. And our Cups Duo Die, it has six different dies. First, I'll show you how to use our Cups Duo. Take a wire cutter and cut the connector as close as you can to the base of the die. And be careful of the connector. It's pretty sharp. After you cut the center die free, cut the connector off. And just to be safe, I like to put my finger on it as I cut, just so that the connector doesn't fly off. The connectors are pretty sharp, so you want to make sure that they end up in the garbage can. The outside cups are perfect to use with the This Could Be Vodka stamp set. You can use them for easy paper piecing or just to make a shaker card. You can use any die cut machine to cut the dies. Each manufacturer has their own combination of plates for wafer thin dies. I'm using the cuddle bug and all I need is the A plate, the B plate, and the C plate. And just run through the die cut machine. Now you can use the cutout cup, or you can use the paper that you cut the die out of. Now let's create the pattern cup. Just place the base cup on the paper, like we did previously, and then place the insert in the center of the cup. I like to secure it with a piece of removable tape. Then just run through the die cut machine. See how cute and lacy the cup looks? Imagine this over the acetate on a shaker card. Just so sweet. Now let's do the holiday tag duo die. For the sake of time, I've already cut the center of the die out with my wire cutters, leaving just the outline and the hole at the top. Run through the die cut machine. And now, not only do you have a tag, but you have a stitched tag outline that you can use for shaker cards or flip cards or whatever you want to use it for. Now here's another look. Place the tag die on a sheet of paper and place the snowflake insert at the top of the die. Now the insert's pretty detailed, so I'm adding a shim to the platform combination so that the die will cut through easily. A little bit of removable tape to hold it in place. The top plate. And run through a couple of times just to be sure. Remove the tape. You can see it's already cut through. And then we'll just use a little pokey tool to poke out the rest that didn't fall out. And you have a pretty lacy tag. You can use it alone or you can layer it on top of the tag we made before. Finally, let's do the Scallop Duo die. This die has three different dies, the smallest being a corner die. Just like the tag die, you use the outside die to cut away a scallop circle that you can use to mat your images. 
or you can use the paper you just cut a hole out of to create a peekaboo card or a shaker card or whatever you can imagine. Now let's take the shape that we've just cut out. We'll layer the second largest die on top of that die cut. Secure it with tape. Add a shim to make things a little bit easier to cut. And then run through the die cut machine. Poke out all the extra little hangy bits. And now you have a pretty frame. Even the center is decorated if you want to use it. Now finally, one last trick. Take the second to largest die and place that on a sheet of paper and run through. Poke out all the little hangy bits. And now it's a pretty frame for a sentiment or a picture or whatever you want to put on the inside of the card. I love the versatility of our duo dies, and I hope you do too. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.